ever wondered that the data that we have within our machine, like the file system or Google Drive or Slack or GitHub, all these data needs to be fine-tuned to get the real-time information out from it using the large language model. So how do we actually do that? Well, welcome to this all new model context protocol from Cloud Anthropic released like a couple of hours before, which they have promised that it can bridge the gap between the AI and the data that we have within our machine so that it can fine tune those information and get you the response in a more context aware fashion. That is what is thing that we are going to be talking about in this particular video. So. Model Context Protocol or MCP is a newly open sourced standard designed to help the AI assistant work more effectively and efficiently by connecting them to a system and tool where relevant data resides. And this data that I'm talking about are quite a lot of data. At the moment, they have just released this as a developer preview. So there are very less connectors available. But once you have uh, more custom connectors available from different communities, you are going to see this is going to be exploding bombastically, and it, the way that it is going to be happening is going to be tremendous. And that is what I'm quite excited about in this particular video, to be honest. So what problems that this particular MCP really solves? So you can see that the AI models, no matter how advanced they are, they are limited by their abilities to access real time or domain specific data due to isolated and fragmented systems. And traditionally, integrating AI with the new data sources requires custom connectors for each system, making it quite harder to scale. And that was the problem that we always have all these days, but not anymore, to be honest, because of this MCP. So how this MCP really works is that the MCPs act as a universal bridge between the AI system and the data source that we have got. The data source can be of anything provided there is this connector support. And you will see that there is going to be a client server architecture in here as well. So here, the MCP client is going to be uh, maybe the Claude Anthropic client at the moment, uh, which actually supports this MCP protocol. So you can download this in your machine and then you can bridge with the connectors uh, like a server, which is going to be talking to the different data source that you have got. So the MCP server that I'm talking about over here is nothing but this connector that you are seeing over here, which is going to be uh, connecting to different local data sources that you have got, which is which can be a GitHub a repo or GitHub local repo and file systems or the Slack channel, or if you have the data in the Google Drive or in the Puppeteer, for example, all these things data can be extracted and then you can use it uh, in the context aware and more uh, grounded fashion as well. So all these data that you are gonna be getting from the cloud at the moment are not going to be from the cloud, to be honest. All these data are gonna reside within your machine. It's gonna be stored within the local MCP server, not going to the cloud. That is the other uh, real power of this particular MCP. And I quite see that this is gonna be a way moving forward for you to see how you can use that. The concept is pretty much looking like RAG, but actually it's way beyond RAG because over here you are gonna be connecting with the different data sources uh, and the, the way that you do it is gonna be super real time as well. So in a nutshell, this MCP is gonna make our life more easier for the AI system to maintain the context as they interact with multiple tools and data set, improving the accuracy and relevance of the responses. And it lowers the barrier of integrating the AI into real world application while ensuring transparency and interoperability. I'm gonna show you all these things that we are gonna be doing within our local machine. And I will also show you how you can get to do all these things within your machine as well using this Claude Anthropic uh, tool that we have got. So I'm gonna just jump into my machine and will quickly show you how to set up everything in action. So you can see that this is the one, the on November 26, they have just released this a new model context protocol over here. And they have told us that uh, in order to work with this model context uh, protocol, there is a specification SDKs that you need to download. And then there is a MCP server support uh, in the uh, cloud 
a desktop app and then there is some open source repository for different mcp servers so i did went to the uh, mcp servers that they have got and you can see that these are the featured servers that uh, the cloud anthropic at the moment supports like file system github google drive postgres slack memory uh, i can see that only there are a handful of support at the moment available but you can see that the file system is going to open a whole lot of things i mean if you just connect your file system within this particular server you're going to get the whole context aware details to the uh, to the cloud and then it's going to get all the information for you from there and similarly you can connect your github repository google drive postgres sql and things of that nature just think about how these things are going to be exploded in the future because there are going to be multiple different connectors or maybe even more streamlined way to create all these connectors and that way we're going to have a different way to access our data in a more real time and context aware fashion well as that said uh, i have already downloaded the cloud uh, client uh, in my machine which is this one as you are seeing over here and you can see that currently there is no connection whatsoever is established. So if you just go to the cloud and if you just go to the settings over here and just to be um, aware that this cloud client is currently available in beta version, it's available for both Windows, Mac and uh, of course Linux. So uh, you can just go ahead and download that. And on the, on the settings of the developers tab over here, you can see that it says there is this MCP protocol to enable the secure connection between the client such as cloud desktop app and the local services and local services nothing but these things that i'm talking about so how do we do that you need to edit this configuration in the vs code if you if you have uh, if you don't have just please go ahead and install that uh, so i'm just going to go and open my terminal over here uh, and i'm just going to go to the code and the cloud desktop configuration over here and what i have did really over here is i have set the mcp servers for the file system and for the git over here and once again for some reason uh, the github repository um, connection is not really happening with the uh, with the mcp server uh, git i also have installed the uex uh, which is pretty much like a package manager or brew uh, for that matter which you can uh, download all these dependencies like mcp server git and there are many different uh, uh, plug plugins available and there are many different servers available as we just saw over here like these i haven't tried all of them to be honest uh, but i think these are going to be very very straightforward to use pretty much like how you configure over here so once you do that once you save it uh, like that and now if you just go to the cloud desktop uh, and if you just restart the cloud desktop because once you add all these details once you restart only then this changes that you have done is going to be taken into effect and you will notice that uh, it is not connecting to the mcp server git as i told you i don't know for some reason it's not really connecting but there is a connection over here which tells there is something really going on at the moment so i have connected my uh, desktop drive uh, or desktop location for the uh, file system to be honest uh, so it can query all the file system of the data which is available within my desktop of my machine so that's the connection over here there is some connection has really happened so if i go and click that you will notice that it share it shows that there is an installed mcp server for the secure file system server which means it can talk to that it also shows the version over here like version 0.20 uh, which means it's yeah quite in fancy so i'm gonna go and show you what i think that it can do for me so i'm gonna ask like uh show me all the files uh, I have got uh, connected to um, maybe just asking like that so you can see that it is gonna show me a prompt over here saying that run uh, the listed allow directories from the file system I'm gonna say allow the chat so basically it's gonna gain access to your local uh, files and things so it is always ensuring uh, that the data that it is retrieving is always going to be something uh, sensitive so it's gonna pull pull the data and get all the information out of it so it tells me that these are the files just currently sitting in my desktop and this is some important directory which also sees something over there uh, so i'm gonna ask like how many uh, png and uh, jpeg files are there uh, 
So you can see that all these informations are quite grounded and also quite context aware. So that's the reason why these informations are coming up for us over here immediately. And also tells me that if I ask how many PNG and JPEG file that I have got, it shows me that there is 13 files of uh, PNG and there is a JPEG file of zero. And these are the files that it has got. Uh, and these are the information that you have uh, over here. Of course, there are so many sensitive information available, so I don't want to reveal what they are. But I can also ask even more information. Uh, can you ignore the important folder and check the other files if there is any Udemy uh, course uh, information? I've been to ask this kind of question before. I'm going to just try and see if that is going to be happening. So once I do that, you see that it is now going to go and check the pattern uh, for the Udemy uh, on that particular file and getting all the information one by one. And then it is checking if there is any match found for the Udemy course. And it looks like there is nothing on that particular context. So it has checked every single file is there. Uh, it hasn't really found any information. So it could able to go and dig into that particular file and get the information out as well, which is quite awesome. So think, think about this way. This is just about the file that I have connected, but you can connect multiple different files as well over here in an array. Like you can just put a comma there and then you can put another directory and you can keep on mentioning the different directory that you want to pull in and get the information out, you can do that. And similarly, if you are going to have the GitHub repository, then you can connect it as well. So as shown in the uh, documentation over here, you can connect to the GitHub, you can connect to the PostgreSQL, you can also connect to uh, different uh, systems over here, and those things are just going to work for you. So I'm going to go deep into the Puppeteer and Brave Search and maybe GitHub, uh, like how these things are going to work in our next video. But at the moment, this is what is the start of the way that we can connect our data with the uh, with the actual LLM and then we can get the details out of it in real time and more uh, context aware fashion. So it is all about this model context protocol. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video and you guys have a great day.